Downloads a heavy music festival that originated in the UK. It's in the last couple of years it started branching out and it's going to be super exciting to bring this thing to Melbourne. We launched in 2003, it was two days, um, two stages, uh, and that's literally how it started and we've built it up over the years. Uh, Downloads a Live Nation festival. Um, we've got Team Our Office, We've got a lot of heavy music fans, even right through to accounting. But we're also, you know, we've got multiple partners here. Secret Sounds, who are responsible for Splendor in the Grass. They'll be building the site. They have a very good and strong idea of what a festival should be and, and the, the punter experience. Um, and that's something that, you know, bringing this down here, we don't want to just slap up a couple of stages and put on some bands and hope people turn up. We make you know, money. We want to make sure that it's a great experience and having them involved is going to help a lot. And, you know, also involved is Unify, which is fantastic. We co-promote tours with them uh, and have been doing so for a couple of years now, um, which is great. I think we've got a very good team around us um, and a team that all three parties are looking to the future and, and you know, we want to see this thing go for a very long time as it has done in the UK and as is building in Europe. Free again. thinking about bringing download to Australia for the last few years now, I guess we first started talking about it uh, around about four years ago. Um, obviously the festival itself had built up um, quite a reputation internationally um, and we were looking at other markets on where we felt we could um, expand the festival. We just felt that 2018 was the optimum time to bring the festival to Australia. We had a lot of fans from there, a lot of music fans contacting us saying they'd really like to see Download in Australia, so it just seemed the right thing to do. So bringing it to uh, Melbourne is uh, it's a big honour for the festival actually to be bringing it out of Europe and um, you know to the other side of the world. It is an Every music scene is great in Australia. I mean, we've got so many acts now that are overseas, getting out there, they're touring, they've got a name, they're out in Europe, they're in America, and they're not playing one or four all the time. They're actually, they're going back, they're building, they're doing really well, that, that's exciting to see. I mean, you can't always measure the success by bands traveling. There's a lot of great fucking bands that are in Australia, and maybe they don't get bigger than a 200 capacity venue, but they're making records, and they're great records, and we've always had a strong scene, I think we always will. We knew that there would be a strong market in Australia and that there was something uh, missing for the fans of such a big scale um, and the idea of bringing download over there um, just made total sense. You know, it's now been missing for a little while for, for these kind of music fans to have a day which is solely dedicated to them and their style of music. Um, so that's, that's what I want to do was actually build that again so people can come out and they can come see a bunch of bands all heavy, similar genres, and they're getting that. They're getting that thing. For the first time in a while now, they can they can go to a music festival, and they can expect to see you know multiple big acts. You might have a No Effects playing alongside a Prophets of Rage. You know, it's a, they're two completely different. You know, they're two completely different worlds for some people, and for some fans, it's it's the crossing of the beam, and it's exactly what they wanted today. Download after this year, I mean, ideally, we're going to build this. We're not in a hurry. I think, you know, it's a very hard economy um, and we can't be putting up eight stages and touring things um, around Australia from the get-go. And I don't know if it will ever get to that point again. Um, or if it will, I think it's going to take a very long time to reset. What we want to do is we want to build slowly. We want to be smart, make sure it's sustainable. We have a long-term plan and we have, you know, three partners that want this thing to grow and we're thinking more than just this year and what does the bottom line look like and and we, we want to have something that's in the calendar for people so they can't wait until download comes around next year, they can't wait until the announced date when it comes. Yeah.